EasyJet cadet Sophie Curran is doing just that. We're on the ATIS, we've only got variable at Pretty sickly too. She left her family home in Oxford and is now learning how to fly her first plane, a single engine Cessna. When I was a kid, everyone wanted to be an astronaut or something really cool like that. And to me, being a pilot was being an astronaut. Worldwide, 97% of all airline pilots are male, so Sophie is a rare breed. To help address the imbalance and fill their pilot vacancies, EasyJet are encouraging more women to apply. It seems sad to me that it's not more open to females in terms of just the perception. They're perfectly capable of the exact same as any other career. Obviously, I'm a cadet right now, but I will be a pilot. If not on the F4 or maybe I will, and they're not stopping me now. <laughs> Today is the first time Sophie will be flying away from base, so that's my room. She'll be navigating 25 miles away from the flight school in Hamilton, towards the coast and back, only using her eyes, ears and a map. Okay, the Flying solo means she'll be completely isolated and is designed to train her to be calm in testing circumstances. I love the smell of our gas in the morning. That's aviation petrol to you and me. I just felt really here. I know I can This flight will also equip her for potential disasters if a colleague in the cockpit of an easy jet plane falls ill. There's a bit of low cloud hanging around, but I'm going to be quite low. I'm going to be on about 2,300. So as long as it's above that, I... So fear of it. Sophie will fly by sight only, so it's crucial she keeps an eye on the weather, as in low clouds she could become easily disoriented. Not off to a flight, no. Halfway into the flight, and Sophie spots a problem. With the weather closing in, she needs to get back to base. control of a small aircraft in cloud. And at this stage of her training, Sophie hasn't been taught to use the navigational instruments on board, so no sat nav to keep her out of trouble. To get home, she needs to follow the river, but before she can follow it, she needs to find it. But with the cloud getting thicker, it's not just Sophie who is worried. <laughs> 